hear most channels out there today, they're either catering for the younger generation, teen, teens have a voice, uh, maybe the older generation, uh, but not necessarily anything that really focuses on women. And also coming from women who embody empowerment. It's not to say that I think, I think, oh, women need a voice because, you know, uh, I don't think anyone truly, truly needs a voice, but it's just nice to have somewhere where you can listen to some a radio show that relates to or you can relate to, that you can hear someone else talk about problems that you may be facing. And um, like I say, it's still got down to do with the current market and other radio stations are catering for various demographics. And it was just, I think there was a void in this area. So I think it was a nice opportunity to provide that platform. We've come to recent times now. And I've been referring, using this line a lot, you know, we're not in the 1920s anymore. And I think the perception of, about women and where's women's position within society and so on, I think it's now come to a, a level playing field. And um, I think, you know, due with current times and, and the way things are at the moment, I think everyone should be on that level playing field. There shouldn't be this mindset of like, I'm man, you're woman, I'm the breadwinner, you're the homemaker. I think we, this thing should not be eradicated, but should be toned down. And I think that, you know, everyone, we're all human beings at the end of the day. And, and you know, women can do just as much as guys can do. And uh, sometimes women can do even better than what guys can do. This radio station coming at this time is perfect because we are at the age where we are seeing a lot of changes in womanhood and taking more and more domineering and also productive field. Uh, women in the new capital, it means to me that this is our time uh, we should step up, step forward, show our voice. Uh, do not be afraid to speak up, have your views. Uh, say your views, have your views heard. Don't nag your pers- your other half to death, that's for sure. <laughs> no, um, I don't think we should restrain anyone from having their voice heard. Uh, of course, um, we have to be perhaps a little bit sensitive. Um and nobody likes to argue so have your opinions uh, but also while you're having your opinions I guess other people have their opinions too so always approach it with an open mind and once you have an open mind you can have um, a communication of sorts so there will be no squabbling Women, the new capital, I think the tagline says it all, you know, uh, it's a platform for women. And you know how the women radio is slightly different from the rest because we tend to analyze things a little bit more and we get a little bit emotional or, you know, we have some kind of attachment to things and then we want to talk about them. You know, women, when we go through a certain kind of like experience and you want to rehash everything with your friend, you know, and guys just don't do that. They're like, dude, this happened today. You know, it sucks. All right, let's have a beer. But for women, it's like, oh my God, you know what happened today? You know what she was wearing? And then, and then you know what she said? And then you know what I say? You know what she said? I think uh, there should be hubs for everybody to speak out, you know? And I think for men in general, they're used to being pretty vocal, especially at the workplace, you know? So we're just saying that, hey, you know, uh, where do we go to say things? Where do, where do we go to voice our thoughts? Where do we go when we have questions to ask? What about tips, advice? So for the station, as a listener, you get to call in, you get to message us on Facebook, you get to participate on our website and you get to meet us on our on-ground activities. So we are providing that opportunity for people to speak to us. Well, on the Jam Break, which is 4pm to 8pm, is basically the drive time home. So we want to make it a little bit more fun, a bit more update because you're driving home, you want to be like really serious. Um, so we have segments on food and travel. So we everything that revolves around eating or dates. Um, then we have women in 21st century. We talk a lot about um, uh, cosmetics, uh, uh, and plastic surgery, talk, talking about how, how do you handle yourself on the first date, you know, things like that. So uh, fashion advice, uh, makeup, you know, women in 21st century, basically anything to do with that. As a guy, you know, being in a women's station, I think a lot of people have got the stereotype like, oh, what are you doing there? What, you know, what's your role in this whole thing? But I think in a lot of ways, it, it's, it's necessary for men to understand women on a deeper level. So I think I'm here to help men out there as a general population to understand uh, you know women better and how how we can relate to them and how we can understand them on a deeper level how we can connect with them on an emotional level that uh, that's uh, that supersedes what we have right now okay see the thing is I come from a family with I've got five sisters family of nine I've got five sisters and then yes of course there's mom but so growing up in a family with so much women power 
you learn to respect them so there's there was never a case ever in my life you can ask all my ex-girlfriends it's never it has never come to a point where you know i have been disrespectful to women folk or it's never come to a point where you know i i've been dismissive or disrespectful to them i respect my women i love my women yeah i think the main crux of the show the main the main gist of what we're getting at with the show is trying to connect with women out there we are uh, you know we've all got issues and we've got all got problems that we you know go home and try and sleep it off and wake up in the morning and hey it's still there kind of a thing so this is where we try and get you to provide a platform we provide a platform for you guys to speak out and be heard and you know that's where we come in and try and put a put a shoulder put it put a shoulder on your arm put an arm around your shoulder and you know, try and comfort you and understand where it is you're coming from Hello, I'm Xandra and this is my partner in crime and he like really now. does a lot of respect for women and I love working with this guy and uh, it's just going to be a hell of a year, right? See, Xandra here, she is an amazing woman. She has got an amazing work ethic. She does what she does and she does it to the best of her ability and I, re and I really respect that about her. She has got, she's brought so much more to, you know, our working relationship. And, <laughs> no, but I really mean what I just said. I really mean what I just said. So we've got a good thing going on here and, you know, with our show from 4 to 8 p.m. on Capital FM 88.9. We really want to reach out to all the women folk out there because you want to be heard. You've got you've got things, you've got stories that you want to say, and we're here to listen and we're here to put an arm around your shoulder. And we're here to talk a lot. Okay? A lot. So please bear with us and, and love us, okay? Because we love you. Triple W dot Star Online dot TV.